Hi everyone, and welcome back to a brand new TikTok piercing fail reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the Darjeeling, the scalding hot sun, the lapsang Sushan? What is the tea? Too hot. Hi everyone, hello, welcome back to this edition of TikTok piercing fails. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a wonderful evening, month, week, year, gants, wherever you are, whatever time it is, whatever you're doing. I hope you're wonderful. Yes. So today we're jumping back into the world of TikTok piercing fails. Thank you to everyone who's tagged me in things over on TikTok. Come follow me on TikTok. It's Rally West over there. Rally West YT, sorry. Come follow me on TikTok. Come join the fun and maybe you can be in the next video. But let's not... Uh, I don't have my fan. I still don't have a fan. Let's not beat around the bush and get on with these TikTok piercing fails. Uh, I'm all over the place. Wibbly wobbly. Wibbly wobbly. Ah! I'm insufferable. Die. Just... Die. Okay, so what is this? So this is someone's got... <gasps> oh, ew, what is that? Is it hair? Oh, they've got hair caught in their pit. Oh, oh my... God. How does... Oh, no. Oh, oh, it looks gross. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's like a worm coming out of there. It's like a body snatcher. Oh, obviously, as a follically challenged individual, I have never had this problem. All right, Baldy. Shut your cake I always wonder, like, does this happen in your sleep? Like, I just wonder how you manage to get, like, hair coil, like, inside him. I, d yeah, I just don't know how this happens. Like, how does this happen? Like, you just not be, I don't know. People with hair, how does this happen? Okay, so what is this? I don't know what I'm about to tell you. Trigger warning piercing I got this bump. big bump on the inside of my lip. Big bump. <gasps> oh, it, God, that was you. I oh. changed my ball on my piercing, and I accidentally pinched it inside my lip. And it kept getting bigger and bigger. And I was looking up things to do. And I just, oh, no. like, what did I just ate it. I just bit it off. I don't ate it? What? I am a little hungry. So I ate it. And it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so sick. You ate it. That's disgusting. I'll be lying if I hadn't had like an ulcer, like a little tiny like ulcer bump or whatever, and just kind of bit it off or whatever. Like, I'll be lying. But that was... I mean, there's a little ulcer, and then there's, hello, an entire, like, banquet of pus. That's not an ulcer. That, that, you know, that, that is, that, that is feeding the 5,000. Like, what is going on, girl? That must have tasted disgusting. Like, that must have been foul, and you just bit it. I've never had anything like that in my mouth. That's a lie. So, I don't really know how you would deal with that yourself. This, this, this gives me strange vibes. So, what is the- Ah! Oh! oh, oh. No, 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 I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. No, no, absolutely not. No, 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 no. I am not watching that. I can't actually show what that was. I'm, I don't like, it's kind of pushing the limits of what I could actually get away with. Essentially, it was a nipple with a nipple bar in it that was like rejecting quite badly and it was just crust and grime all over. All over, all over the piercing. No, 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 no. As someone who had to take out the nipple piercings because they were being annoying, I'm not entertaining that video. Okay, so what is it? Do they get crusty and do you... Wait, ew, what, ew, ah! what is that? Oh, that's dis... No, what is... That, that looks like a bran flake, but still. Turn it off. This one's got really foul things in it. This, is, this one's really gross. This one is gross. I mean, we see crusty things sometimes, but this one's like... Gross. Like, actually gross. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. No. What's happened? What's happening? Why is this so disgusting? Why? Okay, so get piercings with me at school. I mean, why not? Where are your teachers? So, I mean, at least you're wearing gloves. Like, my friend went first. I mean, isn't the other person your friend too? Like, what? I love that my friend went first. This other person, not her friend. She's like, no, I actually don't like this one. You bitch. I just could not imagine doing this in class. Like, I, I was at a a relatively lenient school. Like, we got away with a lot, but we were rarely left alone inside a classroom for long enough to do anything remotely like this. Now she's getting a scepter after getting the two in the Oh, okay, now you've really gone too far. She's gone too far. In a toilet? In a toilet? Disgusting. I just don't, I just, I just, I just, it was, it's just the idea that you're able to do that in school, in your classroom, with no teachers like watching you. Like, we were just never left on our own for more than like a couple of minutes. There is no way you would have been able to get all this equipment, do the, the all that stuff, and then pierce your ears. Like, I don't get what are these. Why are they being left on their own for so long? Where's the teacher? She's dead. Is it normal that I've had my belly piercing for two? Oh, it's all gooey. No. Oh, I mean, 
What I find funny is when people post things like this, it's like, is this normal? It's like a piercing's like infected or gross. And they've just like got their bare hands, like just playing with the piercing as if like that's going to make it any better. It doesn't look like crazily like disgusting that like, we've seen far worse. Just soak it with warm salt water a few times a day. Keep it clean and just leave it alone and you should be fine. Please, if you've got anything wrong with your piercings, don't, don't, don't. And I really want to stress this. Don't just like mess around with them and be like, oh, I don't know why it's all gross, girl. It's like maybe because you're beating it. Just stupid cow. Okay, so what is a six millimeter tunnel pier? Oh, <sighs> is this one of those things where they just stretch too f Oh, you stupid. I mean, it's not the same person who saw before. This is a different person doing that. <sighs> so there's one. There's two. I just, I just don't understand how, as a professional, well, maybe not professional, like you would post this as if like it makes you look your studio look good. When I see this, this isn't just a red flag. This is like an entire red gazebo. Like I don't understand. Your ear is gonna be. F there was blood there as well. That they they quickly skip past. It. There was blood on that ear. Then oh, there's a bit more. And it was just, they they noticed as well how they just edited it then as well, so you couldn't actually see. It going through that would have been the reason they edited that was because something went wrong because why would you edit it for no reason if it's a quick transfer through why would you edit it there's no reason for you to edit it oh, i've cracked the code oh girl. girl she's got a degree i just don't understand why as a studio you would post this as if like it's the most normal thing that's correct like it's so wrong and i just don't i don't get it i don't get it i will never understand that's one way to give your ears blow out that's one way to really f up your ears completely like just stop it like we we we're at a stage now where we know this kind of stuff is bad why is it still being done and why would you post it for your studio as if like it makes you look good you stupid bitch okay so what is this come with me to get my nose pierced again the setup is this got music yeah there's music can't play the music okay never mind <laughs> you can't do that so we've seen this person a few times i think they're stunning um I'm surprised they didn't leave rem Okay, I'm actually quite surprised they didn't remove more makeup actually around the Oh, that's like a thick six gauge needle. I'm but I'm glad that there's not any stretching going on, like his actual piercing. I've always wondered like what the difference would be to get it done with like one of those really thick needles rather than like a dermal punch. Because when I got my ear punched through, we used a dermal punch. They're using like a, a massive, like a, you know, like an actual needle. Oh, can't show that. Lots of blood. I love it. Gorgeous, stunning. I mean, I, you know, we've seen this person on my channel a few times before. And as I've always said, I always champion the people that like, even though they're heavily modified, they're not arrogant enough to be like, I'm just going to do it myself because I, I've got so many. What's the point? Of hey, everybody. I'm a stupid moron. I love you. I think you look gorgeous and I love your new piercings. So keep slaying. Okay. So what is this? So this says, what's happening? What am I looking at? Uh, my eye piercing. What? Wait, what? Wait, what just happened? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. We need to, wait, we need to go back. Hang on, wait. My eye piercing. I don't know what we're, I'm really confused what we're looking at. Oh, is it meant to be this? Wait, wait, wait. Is it meant to be this thing here? Like, what is that? What is that? What is that? Gout. Obviously, this person's not pierced their eye. Like, you can't, like, that's ridiculous. You can't pierce your eye. Like, there's nothing there to pierce. But, like, what is this? Have you just, like, shoved a bit of metal in your, like, have you got, like, a barbell? Like, a, like, a, just a horseshoe bar or something and just put it into your eye because you've gone, this will be funny. No, no, it's not. Okay, so what is this? <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Oh, she, okay, well, I'm gonna have to blur her face, but she's, she must be like six years old and she's getting a nose piercing with a gun. Oh, what a surprise. You hear the baby screaming, like, what, like, what are you doing? Like that, it's just, like, piercing your, can't take much more of this. To pierce a child that young with a piercing gun. Like one of those old style piercing guns as well. That's really aggressive in the nose. Like it's just, it's just, it's just not like just why it's just not okay. And they really like slam it in causing your like skin, your cartilage, whatever you're getting done to like break open. Like it's just not okay. Especially to do it with someone so young who's still growing. Okay. So what is this? Oh, what? That looks like you you take out. Do you know when you have like a washing machine? You need to take you need to take the lint out or something because there's too much dust in it. That literally was like a washing machine. Like the tube got taken out. The lint was just like, oh, I am a serpent. Do you ever shut up? This person, la tu la tu the I I I, I'm, I can't even read English, let alone Spanish. I, I don't know Spanish to me. This person is constantly on my channel, just like with disgusting. 
interesting things that people like they've gone to her to like fix them. Doesn't it just doesn't that just look like the tube coming out and all the lint on it. I don't understand what this is, what we're watching. Foul, 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 foul. Red card, you fouled. I d don't, don't. You dived, you cheater. This bitch is crazy. Okay, so what is, oh, not another one of these guns. Guns, guns. And that was how she died. She's dead. Okay, so what is, maybe you shouldn't have gotten your ears pierced. Oh God, what? <gasps> oh, you poor thing. Oh, God. I'm lucky. Like, yes, I've had hypotropic scarring sometimes with some piercings, and they've had like a normal piercing bump, you know, and you can get rid of them quite easily. But, like, obviously, keloids you need to have surgically removed. And if you're prone to having keloids, there is a chance that, like, a lot of the time they will grow back. I don't really know how you test if you're gonna get keloids. If your family has a lot of keloids, there's probably chances that you might get them yourselves. I'm not, I'm too honest, I'm not, I'm not completely clued up when it comes to the you know, biology of keloids and the science behind it. I think a lot of the time people just happen to find out themselves by like cutting, you know, they, uh, when they're young, they might fall over and cut their arm or cut their leg or graze their leg or something. And you might get a keloid from that. And then you're like, oh, okay, I'm someone who has this, unfortunately. Sometimes people do find out with getting piercings and it's kind of just like, if your body does that, your body does that. There's not really much you can do. Okay, so snake eye piercing. Is there sound? Hang on, is there sound? Yes, there is. Snake eye piercing. Oh God, that, that, <laughs> that right eyelash is about to jump, girls. It's flipping off, girls. Okay, so, first of all, why are you getting a snake? Why is there a piercing studio doing snake eye piercings? I just don't get it. I don't get it. Why is- Breathe out your nose. Oh God. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Uh -huh. Oh, is, is this girl gonna be one of those annoying people that... <laughs> oh dear. You have to compose yourself. You gotta compose yourself. Okay, so are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Okay, they're gonna do it. All right, guys, relax, relax, relax. Wait, that's a huge, wait, what kind of... That needle was massive. No, don't grab, don't grab. Did they need to use it? This, 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 that curved needle is massive, like really big. Was that necessary? Was that necessary for this? Please though, if you're watching this, please don't get this piercing. It's just not, it's... That that needle seems so big and long. It feels like it's gonna cause you more damage than good. Like it's your like a lot. You're pushing a lot of like bar through it before you even get to the piercing. Was that necessary? I feel like it wasn't necessary. God. That bar is way too small. That bar is way too small. <sighs> that bar is way too small. Especially for a piercing like this, which is gonna swell. Well, and then she's happy. I get it. It's one of those things like I don't, I, I, at this point, like I look through the comments in there and like half the comments are people saying like, oh, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Like what, I, I'm just surprised that places are still doing it. Like it doesn't make you look good now. When you upload videos and you're doing things like this, the same way when you upload videos, when you pierce babies or you upload videos, you stretching ears too fast. Like people know now that this isn't a good thing and you're called out a lot. There was a lot of people in those comments being like, don't do this, don't just, why are you doing this stuff? You should move with the times and we know that these things aren't good now and you should probably stop doing them and when you now still like be stubborn and be like, yeah, we'll do whatever you want, go. Uh, even if it means putting your, you know, life at danger or putting your health at risk or like doing things that are unethical, like piercing like really young babies with piercing guns. Like, come on, like, come on. This doesn't look good anymore. Like we know better now. Like, why are we still doing it? Like do better. Like what's going on? Like, I still don't really understand why they use such a, like a massive curved piercing bar with a tube like because that had a lot to get pushed through before the jewelry even went in like i understand certain piercings it's a lot help like more helpful to use like a bar that like a needle that's like a bent needle but like for that just seemed unnecessary okay so what removing is nostril jewelry pierced at claire's removing nostril jewelry oh god she that was quite vicious out get out get out he was waking up gushing blood from improper sharp jewelry hitting his septum oh my god yeah because it's not like that's the Do thing with butterfly sex it's such a big thing to put on the inside if there's no business who doesn't give a crap about safety <laughs> exactly exactly this caused so much unnecessary pain kiss the librarian 
Am a librarian. I genuinely don't understand how some kind of like health and safety regulations haven't come in to stop Claire's from being able to pierce. Like I don't understand how it can just be like allowed. And I know people might think I'm being dramatic a lot of the time, whatever, but like these people have zero idea what it's like to actually be a piercer. And you know, if you watched my most recent video where I said, how does Claire's get away with this? And we went through their piercing policies and everything. You will understand that like they're methods are so outdated and what they were saying about piercing needles and piercing guns was so was like was so ridiculous go watch a video if you haven't watched it already i personally just don't understand how they have that like there's been no law or something that's coming to be like literally like you can't do this and you don't know what you're doing you don't know what you're doing like you do not know what you're doing when they keep saying they have this extensive piercing training you can't have extensive piercing training when you're using a piercing cartridge. There's a reason why so many people that we react to in these videos have these piercing cartridges at home because they're so easy to use and it's so quick to use it because there's literally like zero training needed. One thing I didn't mention in that video as well is the fact that their policy about you know, piercing babies and how like the managers and things, have, I've heard many again, many stories of people saying that managers and things were like forcing them to like pierce it by baby's ears even if the baby was like screaming and shouting or like a young child suddenly changed their mind. But the parents were like, no, you have to get it done. And they're forced to like pierce these baby's ears and that kid's ears, even though they don't want to. Like, it's just disgusting. It's just disgusting. It's just disgusting. Okay, so what is this? Oh! It's this, per it's this person's channel again. I honestly, they must have to deal with so much disgust. Uh! Oh no, is that awful, like... Is it nickel? I can't remember what material it is that makes you go green. If you want to wear a necklace, if you want to wear a piece like a ring or something, is that material that leaves like a little mark on you? You know what? Sure, fine. I don't know what I, I actually, I don't really know the effects on your skin over a long period of time, but like I know that it makes you go green because it's like fake metal. Is that what it is? To actually have one in like a piercing and like a hole in your body? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Like you don't want that sh going into your hole. Like it's just, no, say, that'd be disgusting. Like you don't want that stuff going into like a piercing hole. Like don't use that kind of jewelry on earrings and things because this is going to happen. Like, no, oh, it's disgusting. Okay, so what is, can you do snake eye please? Wait, what's happening? What, what? What's going on? Oh, that's right, you cut out those fingers. Those talons need to be seen, girl. <laughs> oh, I love it. What is, oh, they've got one of those like horrible, like fake, like mouth things. All this like ASMR sound is, I hate it. I love how they've put a needle through a piercing gun. Oh, stop all the squelching noises. That's not even a snake eye piercing. Why, they've, I can hear they've overlaid this sound. What oh, beautiful, wonderful. <laughs> and the energy that they had just, you know, prov pro put out then is the exact energy I expect from someone who would do this piercing. How wonderful. <laughs> I hate ASMR. I hate it. Like when I tried to do it, like playing ASMR games, it was like so difficult for me to just like actually do it. Like I can't whisper. I'm someone who just can't whisper very well. I sound like Gollum. You look exactly the same too. Okay, so what is this? Point of view, your mum tells you not to get another piercing. <gasps> oh! Oh no, oh, what is with all the keloids today? All of a sudden it's like keloid heaven. Keely, wheelie, ah. Oh. oh no. Wow. I'm so glad I don't get keloids. If you're somebody who gets them, I apologize. Like I, I get that it must be really difficult, but I'm so glad that I don't, I just know. Oh God. Okay, so what is this? So I don't know what that says. Oh, look at that bridge. Oh, that bridge piercing's holding on for dear life, go. Brother. Help me! Take it out. It's gone. Let's not Joe Exotic this piercing. It's gone. Okay, so what is... Oh! Oh! The, I, I, the, right, this person. The, 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 is again, it's the same person. I, I you, you... What? what wherever, you, wherever is it that you live, you need to go around to all the piercing studios like around your area and give them all like a lesson because clearly they all come to you to fix the problems that all the other people around them have done. <laughs> okay, so what is this? So, oh! Oh, they've got one of those big fang things. Oh, wait, what? Wait. Wait, 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 hang on. How deep is that smiley piercing? How deep in the, like, what? That is so deep. Oh, that's deep. That is so deep. I mean, obviously you could never live with that there. Like it would just scratch your teeth up for high heaven, but like that is 
deep. I don't think I've ever seen a smiley piercing in that deep in someone's like lip before. Have you? That is so deep. Stop saying that. I hate that. Comment down below, please. Have you ever seen a smiley piercing that deep? Like that is deep. Okay, so what is this? So elf ear, pi elf ear piercing. After piercing this piercing will give you your ears a point. No piercings will give your ears a point unless you're gonna do that stupid thing where you like close them in together. Have they like just seen that picture where the person like pinches their ear together with a piercing and gone, we're gonna do that. Please tell me they're not actually gonna do that because it's so, that is what, that is like, that's terrible. Like that's a terrible idea. If you wanna really make your piercing reject in no time, that is like speed running rejection. Are they honestly gonna like put a bar in it that's like, I mean, they're putting two individual bars. So even if you did it when it, but even if you put a bar in when it's healed to do that, you're still just gonna speed run rejection because your ear is gonna be like, we don't wanna sit in this position. You can't like permanently change the shape of your ear just by like holding it in place without actually taking stuff away. Like if you want elf ears, you need it actually like surgically done. You can't just make that heal and then put a bar in between. This is the, see, the no, like it won't, if you want to do this to yourself, you will die. What? That can only be done for like a photo. Like if you if you have two piercings and you want to put one bar in to make a photo, you do that and you take it out. That is not something that you can live with or be permanent with. Like, please don't get it twisted. That is not a piercing that you can just have and like live with. Like that just won't happen because your ear will be like, I need to get back to my normal shape. Goodbye. And we'll push them out of your ear. So if you're going to do that, make sure the piercings are healed. Do it for a photo and then take it out. I would still just not do it, but like you, you, that is not something that you can live with. So if you're gonna watch a video like that, you're gonna watch, see like a photo, but there's no real description. You cannot do that. That is just something that you can't do. It will just reject out of your ear so fast. Okay, so what is baby, oh, for God's sake. No, stop it. Oh no, see. Well, I'm glad that the, the mother's already covering that. I don't have to worry about blurring. Oh, she's like really kicking. She is like kicking, girl. And they've put music over it as well. You know full well, you know full well why they put music over that because that baby is screaming. Like I already obviously despise people who pierce their baby's ears, but it's also the fact that when they do it with like these piercing cartridges, like, like at least do it, at least do it with a needle. Like if you're going to be that in inconsiderate, I hate it, 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 I hate it. Babies don't need piercings. Babies don't need piercings. They don't need the piercing. Say it with me, children. Babies don't need piercings. I can't clap my hands because I just had this colored in. And first of all, it looks so good. No, it doesn't. But second of all, my this hand's a bit sort of, I can't move it very much. Babies don't need piercings. Babies don't need piercings. Say it with me, children. The babies don't need piercings. Number one hit in Bulgaria. Okay, so what, you ruined your perfect, oh no. Oh, chippy, whippy. So that was like a perfect circle, chippy, whippy. Gosh, no, this is the thing that like any oral piercings, including mine, all have the risk of, you know, chipping your teeth. I am very lucky that I have never had problems. I took my labrae piercing out because I did have problems with it, but I got rid of it. So any oral piercings, you're going to have this issue. And this person obviously has like a circle now chipping. I don't know how it happened, obviously. I guess they did a bit down it by accident, but you always run the risk with these piercings to chip your teeth. And that goes for like all oral piercings. Like anything around here, the tongue piercing, smiley piercings, frowny piercings, like anything that's in your mouth or around your mouth has the risk to do things like this. Why do men do this? Why do men like think that like they're gonna rev past people and they're gonna be like, oh my God, I'm wet in the knickers now. Oh my God, oh my God. You must take me on the road. Hey, take me girls. You're revved, you're ended, I'm dripping. I don't get it, I don't get it. Like the amount of girlfriends I've had over the years, you know, as the gay, as the gay best friend or whatever, like I hear stories. I've never once heard any of these girls be like, do you know what? I really love it when a man revs his engine past me. It really gets me wet. Like I don't know, literally doesn't happen. Okay, so I know a girl who has more tongue piercings than you. Who? Knock, knock. Let me in. Oh, 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 wow. Gosh, that's a, that's. So this person's got a load of tongue piercings and then this girl has like, wow. Jesus. Obviously, it's not for me. They look all nice and clean and healthy, so it's fine. But I just, I find it, I always wonder like when you have this many piercings, how like the, 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 process of like washing your face in the morning and the evening especially because this person wears makeup as well like washing it and taking it off and on and things that must be a fucking nightmare it must take so long to use you want like pull on the dermals and pull on the piercings and stuff and hurt them i mean some of them might be stuck on i don't know but they look real to me but yeah having all these tongue piercings though i always find it when someone's got loads of tongue piercings i just couldn't imagine we talk about oral piercings like chipping teeth and stuff like there's a lot there and i just couldn't imagine like 
constantly like biting down. Obviously, it's having to learn how to speak again when you've got so many like tongue piercings. It, it will change how you speak. So yeah, I mean, live your life, girl. Everything looked great, wonderful. Personally, to me, I'm always like, oh my god, like how do you just like do normal daily things? <laughs> like how was it not like a nightmare to like wash your face? I can't do this anymore. Okay, so what is this? So putting my lip piercing. Pu oh, pi putting my lip back. Oh my god. They're putting their lip piercing back in after taking it out for two days. So, clean! So, is it like closed up a bit? I mean, I. They've managed. I mean, they've managed to get it through. Yeah, I mean, as long as the piercing hasn't like properly sealed up, like, I'd be lying if I haven't done this myself. I mean, there's, you know, there's difference between keeping it out for a little bit and it closed up a bit and you kind of push a bar back through. It's a bit tight, but it's not actually re piercing it. Like, if it's properly sealed over, you're going to need to get it re pierced. If you try to force a bar through it, you're just going to rip the skin open and it's going to be terrible. I don't like the sound of that. Well, guys, I'm well and truly bored that trigger train. Choo choo. Speeding down the railway, about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Bye, bitch. Oh, we're going down, goes squat for Jesus. Jesus loves a good peach. Jesus was a bottom. Jesus was a flamer. We did I hope you were squatting for Jesus. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed everything. This has been a lot. This one's been full of like dirty piercings. Like, I don't have to brand this one about like dirty, crusty piercings that need to be killed. Like, it was just this is just this one was full of dirt. Full of dirt. Dirty word out. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and if you're still watching the video now. Comment down below, squat for Jesus. Thank you for commenting. Um, thank you for being here. As always, yeah, follow me on social medias, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is linked down below. Um, thank you for all the love and support as well. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Pink Kittens World. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. And if you would like to be in with chance of being the next Twitch shout out, come follow me over Twitch over there as well. It's really West and maybe you can be in the next Twitch shout out. A lovely shout out to my lovely Patreons also, whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Thank you for being a Patreon, but an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons. Amanda, Miranda Hart, Athena Berriton, Hunter Portwood, Erin Gray, Shadabeth Herman, Zoe Severe, Heather McFarland, Christina Kyle, Benjamin Baker, I at Robin Scott Palmer, Corin Pemberton, Bethard, Steffi Tech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier Patreons. You guys are delicious. Anyway, I'm going to see you very soon for another fabulous video. Be fabulous, amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. I need a bitch that I messed up my outro. Wow, I, that was a lot of words in one, one, breath, one breath then. That was why I messed up, really. It wasn't because I'm actually rubbish. Bye!